Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an update to my Project Wax. So this is actually going to be the winter scent introduction. So now that we are going into December and we're getting all those good holiday feels, I am putting in a ton of new candles and I'm phasing out one and I'm going to show you guys what I finished in the last month because I finished up four candles so I've been doing really good. So yeah, let's just go ahead and start with the empties. So I finished off two full-size Homeworks candles. The first one is Farm Stand Pumpkin. This one, um, Progress, this is from October, uh, November, and then I finished it up. This one burned extremely well. Pretty much no soot whatsoever. Um, it did start getting kind of like grimy smelling towards the bottom, um, but that's to be expected. It started smelling like the sickening caramel. Um, but notes on this are pumpkin puree, nutmeg, cinnamon stick, and sugar tonka bean. It smells like the perfect pumpkin. It was great for October. I loved ending it. I think I finished this like the first or second week of November, and I definitely think I will purchase this again for next spooky season because this was really awesome. And then I also finished off Harvest Bake Shop from Homeworks. This one was not my favorite. Um, it was definitely good. The progress I have here is September to October to November, and then I finish it off. I mean, I think it was pretty much almost done whenever I updated you guys last, but that's, it extinguished itself, as you can tell. Um, it burned really well. It was pretty strong. I'd say like a seven out of 10 on strength. And the notes are creamy pumpkin, crushed gingerbread, sugar, molasses, and whipped buttercream. It smelled really cloying. Um, so I don't know if I would get this one again. It was nice. I definitely got that like gingerbread molasses pumpkin, um, but not my favorite scent. So that one is finished. And then I have two single wicks that I finished off. The first is the Aromatherapy Stress Relief from Bath & Body Works. This one I had in the project for quite some time. Got a little bit of steady, steady use the last couple of months, but I've been really enjoying having candles in the bedroom lately. Um, I'll just have them kind of going throughout the day, especially if I'm like doing a bunch of chores upstairs or whatever, then I'll have one going. So that's Stress Relief. I'll definitely pick up another one of those. And then I did finish off Spooky Cider Lane from this past Halloween. This was such a good scent. I really enjoyed it. Mm, it smells so good. So the notes on this one are bone chilling, bourbon glazed apples, magical maple syrup, and voodoo vanilla. It smelled really good. Basically just candy apples was what it smelled like. I definitely want to get this in a three wick next year. It was so amazing. And the strength on this little single wick was really good too. So that's all the empties. I am going to phase out one candle and that's white pumpkin. I put this in last month. Um, and I haven't used it at all. Um, it has one burn from before I even put it in the project. But yeah, I think I'm gonna save this for next fall. Um, this is, I think actually the only candle, the only fall candle that I'm saving again for next fall. So I did really good. Um, but yeah, I'll just save that one for later. And then I have some to update you guys on. So the first one is deep dish apple pie from Homeworks in the three wick. This one I did burn. Um, quite a bit. It's a really nice November scent because it's basically apple pie and I've been really enjoying it. I have this one right next to my kitchen. So here's my progress in the last month. So a few times it smells really great. Um, the burn is fabulous. I would say it's not super strong though. It's like a six out of 10, but that's to be expected since it's smaller. So that is apple pie. Harvest gathering. I've been using quite a bit. It's actually still a little bit melty. I was burning it upstairs. Um, let's go ahead and mark it. It's almost finished. I probably have one or two more burns on it, but here is the progress from last month to this month. So I probably, I'll be finished with this in the first week of December. I will be done. So that is Harvest Gathering. And then I have also been using Marshmallow Fireside recently. Absolutely adore this scent. It's a staple. It comes back every year, you guys. It is. It smells so delicious. And I really think this is gonna be 
even better in December and into January and February too. I'm not in a rush to finish this one up, but I've really been enjoying it, especially at nighttime. It's like such a cozy scent with that like marshmallow vanilla. It's so yummy. And then I've also been using hot cocoa and cream. Ryan actually likes this one a lot. I caught him lighting it up without me even needing to say anything. He just wanted the ambiance. So this one's really good though. It's basically just, you know, hot cocoa. So it smells amazing. We don't have a ton of progress because I've only been burning it for like a week, but that is that one. And now to introduce the Christmas candles, which I have six to introduce for the project. So we're gonna start off with Cuddle Weather. I have burned this a few times, um, as you can see. It's a very clean burn. I would say it's not the strongest though. I was expecting it to be a lot stronger since it is a gingerbread scent, but the notes are warm gingerbread tea, cinnamon shortbread, and a cozy blanket. I actually just bought some gingerbread tea, so this will be cool to burn together, but this came out in the fall. It's definitely more of a winter candle but I will be burning this, especially on cozy nights. It's just like a nice, warm, cinnamon spicy scent. So that's Cuddle Weather. This next one is what I'm most excited about. This is The Perfect Christmas, and it has the beautiful Santa on it with the stars. This one, I'm so excited to burn. The notes are fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, and toasted marshmallow. Um, had this one last year. Actually, Ryan had it at his house because my mom did not enjoy this scent because of the pine note, which I totally get it. Like I would never burn fresh balsam, but this is not just pine. It's like pine and marshmallow. It's so delicious. And this just like feels like Christmas. So when I'm getting really cozy and watching like the Polar Express or Elf or whatever, I'm definitely gonna light this one up. And yeah, it's completely unlit. So this one will be really fun to use next month. Okay, so the next one I am putting in is Candy Cane Martini from Homeworks. This one I actually found at Home Goods, and it was, oh, I guess I took the tag off. I think it was $16.99. Um, the notes on this one are sweet peppermint, frozen vanilla, and candy cane swirl, and vanilla orchid, sorry. Um, this one smells amazing. It is this beautiful, like, martini packaging. I just think this is, like, the most festive packaging ever, and it basically smells like peppermint marshmallow to me, but a little bit more elevated. And actually I am gonna put peppermint marshmallow in the project. This one's gonna go in my bedroom because this is a very soft and gentle scent and it has a very low throw. So if it doesn't um, scent up the bedroom, then I'm just gonna put it in my candle crock and have it going for pretty much the whole month. But this is one of my absolute favorite Christmas scents, even though it is super, um, love throwing. The notes are crushed peppermint, fluffy marshmallows, and powdered sugar. It is such a gentle marshmallow scent. It really does smell like a homemade marshmallow. If you've ever had them or you went to like a nice bakery that sells homemade marshmallows, so, so good. So that is peppermint marshmallow and candy cane martini. It smells really similar, but with a lot more candy cane peppermint to it. So I'm excited to have this one going downstairs. I will review it um, later on once I get a good feel for it, but I'm excited to try this one out because I, I honestly never even saw it. It might be from last year or two years ago, but I'm excited to try it and see what I think. And the last candle that I'm putting in the project, winter would not be complete without this candle. It is peppermint sugar cookie fan favorite of all who love Bath and Body Works. This is a great giftable scent too if you're looking for something to give to, you know, like a mother-in-law, sister, whatever. This is a really great candle and it's super gentle. Even my mom loves this candle and she really does not enjoy scent that much. This one's nice and gentle, but still is pretty strong. So the notes are crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter, and soft sugar cookies. And it smells just like that. This is honestly, the I think the most beautiful winter scent Bath and Body Works has ever come out with. Now correct me if I'm wrong. You know I'm I'm probably wrong, but to me this is the most beautiful one. It is just warm sugar cookies and like a nice minty touch to them. Super soft and gentle, beautiful scent. I cannot wait to burn this one. And it is burned once, so I went ahead and marked it right here. Um, but yeah, gonna start working on that one. So that is everything for the winter introduction of my Project Wax. Hope you guys enjoyed that. 
Let me know down below what are you most looking forward to burning now that it is officially Christmas time, winter time, all that good stuff. I think my favorite that I'm looking forward to is probably Peppermint Sugar Cookie and The Perfect Christmas. These two combined are like the perfect Christmas candles for me. So that is everything for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!